What's up guys and welcome back to Pokemon Solar Light and Lunar Dark. Let's not forget the girls too because I can't just say what's up guys and no girls. In the last episode we took down the fifth gym in the game, the fire type gym over in High Point City. Check out the awesome badge we got from that. Kind of looks like uh, the Cinnabar Island badge but I guess it actually looks really weird in the badge case here so I don't know about this one. This isn't even a badge case either, this is just a trainer card. Either way, today we are heading off to the Grand Line, setting sail across the seven seas on Old Man Jenkins' boat, uh, because after we beat the last gym, we actually talked to his daughter, got the keys, and now we can do this. So if you missed that at the very end of the last episode, um, go check that out, and that way you'll know where to get the keys so that you can move on to the next area. But before we do that, if you guys are excited for this episode, as always, make sure to leave a like, and let's check out the fan art spotlight, which is going to focus on a Pokemon that we actually just got in the last episode as well. So if you did check that one out make sure to do that before uh what i'm about to show off because it's kind of a big spoiler actually you know what it doesn't matter because i'm already showing it off in the sidebar anyway i've just realized flaro is here i'm gonna call it flaro even though it doesn't really it kind of says fleer fleer yeah fleero but i'm gonna say flaro because it sounds cooler and either way this is our starter pokemon finally evolved into his final form the pimp daddy of our team as some people have said in the comments i think it's kind of weird but i guess it I don't know, it works because literally every other one of our team members here is a female and Flaro is the only boy on our team, so the daddy of our team. That sounds really weird, actually. I'm not ever going to say that again. Uh, but today's fan art spotlight is going to focus on this awesome new evolution that we got. So here is some of that. He is, like I said, the only boy on our team and also uh, the only physical attacker. So he's kind of unique in that way as well. He's the only boy and also the only physical attacker on our team. And he's also a freaking fire cat, which makes him very awesome and unique in that way too. Don't know why, but fire cats just... This is getting really weird now. Why did I say that? Uh, well, how about we move on? Thank you guys for all the awesome fan art as always. A couple episodes ago, I actually wanted to point out that I messed up the names on some of the fan art. So if you sent in fan art and I messed up your name in episode 19, I'm really sorry about that. When I make the official fan art episode, uh, I'll definitely fix that for you guys. So I'm sorry I mess up sometimes. I'm not a robot, contrary to popular belief. Anyway, without further ado, let's go talk to Captain Old Man Jenkins over here and see what he's got to say. So he's going to take us over to Route 9. We're going to say yes this time and set sail for the Grand Line. Ya yeah, yo, ya yeah, yo. His name is Luffy. He's going to be king of the pirates. He's going to be king. I actually used to know the whole rap to that, but I don't remember it anymore. Here we are. If you want to go back to docking port, just tell me. I will take you there. All right. Thank you, Mr. Pirate Dude. Hey, it's Gangplank. He's back to life. He died for a little bit, but he's back to life not only in his own game, but also here in uh, Pokemon Solar Light. Maybe this is where he went. Maybe this is why Gangplank was dead in League of Legends, because he came here to this game. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then, uh, I mean, maybe I shouldn't make jokes about League of Legends, since not everybody plays it, but I tend to do that a lot anyway. I tend to talk about TV shows and games that I'm into, even though not everybody might be into them. Uh, but... As I was saying, well, this is a new Pokemon here, Tortorock. We're actually going to probably see a lot of new Pokemon since we're in a watery kind of area, uh, which leads into what I was just about to talk about. So I was mentioning how Flaro is our only, like, um, physical attacker right now. And even though that doesn't mean we're going to try to catch a physical attacker, another one, uh, I do want to catch a water type to replace Platyplat. A lot of people have been telling me to just put the EXP sure on him because why is he on the team if you're not training him, dude? And I've mentioned a pretty big amount of times now, uh, he has all the HMs for us. And so in case we ever run into any problems with HMs, you know, I figured we just have him and he can get us out of that sticky situation. What the heck? Does this guy think we're his sister? Oh, there are a lot of water type Pokemon on this route. Well, that's perfect because I actually really want to catch a water type Pokemon. As I was just saying, to replace Platyplat finally because, I don't know, I've been getting a lot of comments about that. Like, dude, start training Platyplat. I thought about it putting the EXP share on him for a little bit and just training him up just to see what his evolution looks like, but I feel like that would kind of ruin the illusion of Agent P, you know? He really looks like Perry the Platypus right now, and I feel like if we evolved him, he probably wouldn't really look like him anymore. Uh, so I don't know if I want to do that. Maybe later on in the playthrough, we'll actually run into his evolution anyway. I hope so, because, I don't know, we're probably going to end up running into it, so don't worry about that. Uh, I'm sure we'll see it at- oh, hello there. What's your name? What's your number? What is wrong with me, dude? I am, I am, uh, I'm into pixels, I guess. Not the movie, though. That movie, 
I haven't seen it, but I mean, I've heard it's pretty bad. A lot of people have been saying it's pretty bad, actually. Not, not just a couple. A lot of people seem to think that movie's pretty bad, so I don't know. Maybe you've seen it. If you've seen it, let me know what you thought of it, because I don't know. I guess maybe, uh, who am I kidding? I probably won't go check it out, but maybe at some point, you know, when it comes out on Redbox or something, I'll, I might consider, you know... Nah, I probably won't even rent it either. Who cares? It's Pixels! I've heard it's pretty bad, and it, honestly, the trailers don't look very good. Why did I even bring it up? Oh, I remembered why, and I'm not gonna talk about it, so we're gonna, we're gonna move on from why I brought up Pixels there. Uh, we actually just ran into a pretty cool Krabby Pokemon there, and I kind of wanted to catch it, but Favira killed it in one hit. Uh, Tortorock here. I don't think this is a water type, but uh, we can probably catch it if we don't kill it in one hit. Which I don't think we will. Oh, baby, perfect experience. I was about to say, oh, come on, dude. Magnitude 10. You couldn't get, you know, magnitude 6. Uh, I think that's the lowest it can go, 6 through 10. But he actually got magnitude 10. That is really a bummer because I just wanted to catch this little guy and then move on with my life. But no, because now I have to use up a revive on Favira because I actually really want to train up Favira. We've been doing a good job of training her so far, but... I wanted to keep that going. Uh, I think last episode, Favira actually gained a ton of levels while fighting in that fire gym. Did a pretty good job there, so I don't know. Rock and ground type tortoise. Tortorock lives in caves, on beaches, or near mountains. Its back is harder than diamond and protects it from attacks. Jeez Louise, man. You can mine some nether rock with that. The Minecraft references are real. Why did I even... See, I already, like... If you do a reference, you can't say where it's from because... Because... Then people that get the reference feel special, and people that don't will be like, Oh my gosh, what's it from? I need to find out. But if you just straight up say it, then what's the point, man? I, it's like, I don't know what I'm doing. But anyway, um, fun fact, uh, even though Tortorock there was a tortoise Pokemon, another tortoise Pokemon is actually the only grass and ground type in like regular Pokemon games, Torterra. I never realized that, because grass and ground, like, if you think about it, I was looking at this type chart I think somebody posted on the Pokemon Reddit, of, like, every Pokemon organized by type, and there are, like, very few typings, there's, like, I think maybe, I don't know, 15 Pokemon that are unique typing, like, no other Pokemon share that typing, like, for example, Giratina is the only Pokemon that's ghost and ground type, there's no other Pokemon that's ghost and dragon type, I don't know if I said ghost and ground, but I meant ghost and dragon, obviously, uh, but, uh, curiously, I guess maybe this is curious to some people, maybe some other people don't really care, but I at least found it pretty curious that Torterra is the only grass and ground type Pokemon, because it seems like a type that would be pretty common to me, grass and ground type. Like, I can think of a lot of ideas for a Pokemon being grass and ground, but apparently Game Freak has only ever made one Pokemon of that typing, and that's Torterra, so I don't know. Maybe that type chart was wrong, and I can't think of any, but... I don't know what I'm thinking about it. That type chart, probably the person that did it, did their research, so... I just thought it was kind of weird that they haven't made any other Pokemon of that typing. There's also the fact that Rotom is like... Has all of his forms, and literally his forms make like... Types that have never been used before. So, Electric Grass, only Rotom has that. Or at least I think Electric Grass is one of them. I know Electric Ghost is one of them, and... That also seems like a typing that you could do really easily. Like, take anything electronic and make it into a ghost then again that is what Rotom is which I guess is why he used to be electric grass anyway this is uh the Pokemon we've caught here Crab Blue Crab Blue uh I, I he, he doesn't really seem that cool but I'm just trying to catch grass or water types so that eventually you know we can maybe sort them out in the box and take a look and see all the wonderful grass or ah sorry water Pokemon that we've caught I keep thinking grass because this little thing is grass and bug or ah grass and water jeez louise dude I cannot concentrate but yeah this is why we keep Platyplot on the team because we can headbutt them and get some cool Pokemon maybe not really we didn't get anything from this tree so I guess we'll just move right along and onto another tree if we can find another tree that is there's a lot of trees around here, but not exactly the trees we're looking for. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What is this thing? It looks really cool. I really hope this isn't super effective somehow and kills it in one hit, because that would suck. Oh, actually, Sludge Bomb is just super strong. Holy moly! I actually thought it was going to kill itself with Belly Drum there, but... Nope, he is no Crash Bandicoot speedrunner, so... Not going to kill himself today. Uh, so we got a chance to catch Surfide. Kind of looks like a little dude, but also a girl, so I guess it fits on the team, you know? Every Pokemon but Flaro has got to be a girl on this team, so there is the Surfer Pokemon, Surfide. Takes his board wherever it goes. It can ride waves that are bigger than 10 meters tall. 
So there's another potential team member. I think what I'll do is just catch a bunch of water Pokemon, like as many original ones as we can find, and I will leave it up to you guys at the end of the episode. So I guess don't vote so far because we might run into another Pokemon later on, but at the end of the episode, depending on how many Pokemon we catch, let me know in the comments like which one I should use, but not yet because we only have two so far. Uh, Surfide and Crabloo, which is actually the one we're battling now, so I don't know, we'll see if we run into anything else, and I guess at the end of the episode, I'll let you guys know again. I'll remind you uh, to let me know which one I should be using. We'll leave it up to votes, kind of like what we did for the eggs back a while ago. Um, we'll at least probably actually run into, probably actually, that's a lot of uses of alley, alley words, words that end in alley. So if your name is Alley, shout out to you. It's a cool name. Actually, uh, I kind of like that name, Ali. My sister's name is Alanis. So that's kind of close. Maybe that's why I like it. I don't know. I always thought my sister had a really cool name, but I don't think she agreed with me. She was like, I hate my name. I want to be Ariana Grande. Why can't I be her? Seriously, though, my sister's obsessed with her, and I don't really get why. I mean, sure, she's a, she's a pretty girl. She's pretty attractive, but I don't know. My sister's, like, legit super into her to the point where, I mean, I guess it's not an obsession, really, but there was a talent show, and she, like, did a uh what do you call that where you i don't know not really a cosplay but she basically did it like a co i don't know the right words i'm just gonna say she did a cosplay of her and like did a, a song of hers too so um i thought that was pretty cool but why am i even on this topic who knows let's headbutt a tree and find out what pokemon might fall from it looks like it's bud chirp not even a water type here so um, maybe that's it for water types. There wasn't really all that much. Look at that. Why do we have Platyplat on the team, guys? Because he can cut stuff down for us. He can not only cut stuff down, he can headbutt trees. He can push away boulders. He can, uh, I don't know what other HMs he's got, but he's, he has, like, one more at least. Um, and over this way, we're going to find an iron. Uh, I don't know why I just remembered, but... I somehow just remembered back at High Point City there was a lady that wanted us to give her a vending machine drink and a couple of people told me that I should probably do that because she gives you a special stone that's like exclusive to this game so if we get to the next city and I see a vending machine I might pick one up and go and bring it back to her because I actually want to see what that is but I don't know for some reason just picking up that item reminded me of that but yeah that is the end of Route 9 was pretty short um kind of like me I'm, I'm pretty short I don't know how tall I am, actually. I haven't actually, like, measured myself in a pretty long time, so... I, I don't know. I have no idea, but... I know I'm probably a little bit on the shorter side, like... Our character here, and in every Pokemon game. And in this city, we've got more rad music. I love the music in this game so far. It's had a lot of black and white music, which I like. Uh, but now we've got some more custom stuff, which isn't actually custom. Someone told me that back at the docking port, it was music from Pokemon XD, I believe. And I haven't actually played that game. I played Colosseum on the channel, but I barely remember the music from it, except for like the Snagum hideout because you spend like half the game there. But, or is it Snagum? I think it was. This is Way to Ice City, the beach paradise of Rikoto. Oh, Rikoto does kind of sound like a tropical region though, so glad we're now getting to very tropical kind of looking uh, areas, which is cool. This is a good place to take a break and catch some rays. Some rays? You mean sun rays? <laughs> <laughs> ah, the puns are real. Waytide is one of the most beautiful cities in the Rakoto region, and with its aquarium and the fishing contest, it has the best sights. That's sounds kind of like Chicago, man. Except I don't live there. I live close to it now, but it's pretty cool. They got a cool aquarium. They got some cool sights to see. I don't think they have fishing contests. Yeah, they probably have fishing contests. What am I saying? Anyway, I hate ocean Pokemon soup, but you have to eat it once a week. What is this kid talking about? And this girl loves it. Sounds like me and my sister, since I was just talking about her. We always disagreed. We would never agree to disagree, though. We would just always disagree. Uh, but I did spot this vending machine, so let's buy ourselves a nice soda pop, and we can take that to that lady whenever we get the chance. Probably never, because I don't think I'm really going to get a chance, if I'm being honest. What the heck is this? I thought this was a door, but I guess it's a window? Maybe it's like a glass panel window, and it was just so clear that I thought I could walk through it, and then I slammed my head into it and broke it. Oh well, Michael Scott, Michael, Michael, Michael Scott. Hey, who is that guy? He looks like he might be a gym leader, but I don't know if there even is a gym in this city, so I'm not gonna assume things. Wait, it's so cute. I love surfy guys. Ah, uh, that's, that's great. That building's closed. That's not unusual to see in this game, though. Whoa, this place has got, well, 
It's got a Pokemon gym, let me tell you that. That seems pretty obviously like a Pokemon gym. I've actually already been in this building, uh, but the Pokemon gym here seems to be surrounded by a moat, I guess? Hey, look at that, the leader is Wade, and I'm guessing that was Wade back at the beach. Yep, you'll find him on the beach. Seriously, that is what I would do if I was a gym leader, man. When you have that much uh, fame and success, as I assume a gym leader position would be, maybe not a gym leader, but... I mean, uh, yeah, the gym leaders are basically the celebrities of the Pokemon world, so yeah, I'd be chilling on the beach every day, man. If I was a celebrity, that's what I would do. Though I guess some people do say, like, YouTubers are kind of celebrities. I never have thought of that of myself. Like, I would never think of myself as a celebrity, I guess, so... Kind of weird to think about. Have you seen the pink Gelatop? They're so cute. I just love them as much as I love Wade. Jeez Louise, man, this Wade guy... He has got it going on. He's got all the ladies after him. What a what a hunk. What a dreamboat. Hey, are you gonna give me scald? No, you just talk about it. Okay, that's that's great. Thank you guys so much. You know, you talk about scald. Don't even give me the TM. Like, why even talk about it? Oh, that guy moved with us, so I thought he was like glitched. Maybe I should go back to the docking port. Wait, is this the guy that took us here? I guess he's just chilling in the city now. But whatever. Uh, that building's closed, so I guess that's it for this city. We pretty much explored everything here, except for the aquarium. So maybe we should go check that out. Uh, but there is an item down here. We got a nice pearl. We've got two of those now, I think. And I should probably sell some items at some point. Yeah, you just do 20 laps. That's good enough. Yep, that's, that's exactly a lap right there. Look at that. This dude is doing the biggest laps of his life. Dang, man. You are going to get swole in no time. My brother is much better than me at building sandcastles. Dang, yeah, you're kind of, your sandcastle kind of sucks compared to your brother's. Jeez. Look at this one. Man, that guy is pretty good at building sandcastles, I gotta say. I used to love building sandcastles, too. Oh, I kind of miss the beach now that I'm thinking about it. Apparently, the beach uh, in Chicago is not really the best, so... I don't know, not really too excited about that, but hey, I could always go back to Puerto Rico. Then again, my mom moved, so I guess there's not as much stuff going on there anymore, because most of my family has now moved to the US, so not really much to go back there, except for some of my friends, so I could always go back and visit them, go hit up the beach, that would be a good time, man, I miss the beach. Uh, but let's wrap up our tour of Waytide City by checking out the aquarium, maybe we can even get ourselves a nice Pokemon here. Probably not though, because I don't think you can steal Pokemon like that. Guppish, they are the colorful Pokemon. They evolve into different kinds of Pokemon when exposed to different stones. Man, I wish they gave you like a complimentary. Oh wait, what? Oh, okay, never mind. I thought you could fish in the aquarium. Never mind. This guy just gave us a good rod, which kind of contradictory, because rod is not really good in any kind of way. If you know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about Rodri, not not Rod. I mean, you can call him Rod, but he's Rodri, so. Anyway, when I'm older, I'm gonna be a water type Pokemon master. I'll catch all the water type Pokemon in the world. Man, this aquarium is just amazing. Probably just as good as the aquarium in Chicago, except that I'm already bored because there's not actually any Pokemon, just a bunch of rocks and seaweed. So let's get out of here and go try out this awesome rod that we just got. Way more awesome than the rod that I was talking about earlier. This is a much better rod because you don't actually have to like talk to it or anything or play league with it and get frustrated because, you know, that's just the way it goes, man. Anyway, uh, let's check out the beach here and our good rod, which I don't know where it is. There it is. I'm not going to register it because I never use the bike, so there's no point to register the rod because I'm probably never going to use it if I do register it. You know what? I'm going to spike the bike by uh, registering this instead. I honestly don't use the bike because I forget the button for it. It's F5 and I don't have it mapped on my controller. So because I use a controller and F5 is the key for the key item, I actually have to go back to my keyboard to use it. So it's kind of weird. Like I should just map F5 to my um, controller somehow. Like one of the buttons should be F5, I guess. Anyway, we are not getting any nibbles. I don't know why, so I guess I'll switch to another spot and we'll try it out here. Come on, give me a nibble. Every time we use the rod, it's like our character puts on the, like little heels or something because he gets like a little bit taller. It's kind of weird, but... Oh, it doesn't look as bad when you're facing downwards, I guess, but when you're like facing sideways, it looks like he gets like... Oh, that's just weird. Look at it. It's like... I don't know. It's not really like he gets heels. He just like... His legs shrink. What the heck? That one was not even a nibble so quickly. Come on, man. Can I please get a nibble? Are there no Pokemon in here? Like, what is going on? Okay, well... 
That's kind of disappointing. I guess we'll go talk to Wade because we couldn't get a single Pokemon in that whole time. What's up, Wade? Why are there no Pokemon here? Orange, is that you? It is! Look at you, on your way to become your very own Pokemon journey. Mom and Dad actually let you out. <laughs> Competing in gym battles? That's awesome! What? You already have five gym badges? You must be doing awesome! I don't know what is going on. Is that Misty? Is your little sibling. She just called him our little sibling. This is our, this is our brother. This is our brother. And this is Misty. Yeah, right, Orange. This is Misty. She's also a water type trainer. She's from the Kanto region. She's here for the Pokemon fishing contest. That's right. I also want to see all of the water type Pokemon. Hmm. I had an idea, Misty. You should battle Orange so I can see the battling style. Well, okay, I'll battle, but only if you want to. Yes? Great, let's go. What? We get to battle Misty? As in, like, actually Misty? What is going on right now? Oh my goodness. We are battling Gym Leader Misty. I don't know why, but we're battling Misty. Th this just got real, dude, and she's got a Guppish, which, uh, from what I understand, is kind of like the Eevee of this game, except it's a fish. It's kind of weird to think about that there's an Eevee fish, but... Uh, there's a couple of Eevee-like Pokemon in this game, actually, so, I don't know. Don't quote me on that, in that it's the Eevee of this game, because I think there is actually an Eevee-like Pokemon, but this one is also Eevee-like, in that it's one Pokemon with a billion evolutions, so... Uh, or at least it, like, changes form, or I don't know how it works, but there's a couple of different, like, versions of Guppish, I think. Or it can evolve into a couple of different Pokemon. Something like that. We're out of PP on, uh, Sludge Bomb, though, which kind of sucks, so... You Mega Drain away all you want, Parasy. Hey, that's a cool Pokemon. Can I catch that one? I want to catch that one. Wait, wh why don't we just use a Guppish, then? If Guppish can actually be, like, an Eevee and evolve into a billion different Pokemon, that would be also kind of cool to use, but... I'm not sure if we're gonna get to, like, catch one, because apparently there's no fish anywhere, so I don't know. That was a good battle. It's good to see how far you've come. I know. How about this? When you have won seven badges, I'll battle you. What a great way to have a battle. Trying to win your eighth badge. Sounds good. Awesome. Now, I have to do some business with our aquarium. How about watching the fishing contest with Misty? That's a great idea. Orange and I will watch the fishing contest works. Okay, see you again. Bye. Why is our brother Australian? Also, why is he the last gym leader? More importantly, why is he the last gym leader? What the heck? Our brother is the last gym leader. Or he claims to be the last gym leader because he said after we've got seven badges, we can challenge him. Uh, but I'm actually going to head back over to this route and try my hand at fishing over here because for whatever reason, we could not catch a single fish in the city. So we'll try it here. Hey, maybe at the fishing contest, we can actually catch something that... That would sure be a sight for sore eyes, whatever that saying me means. I have no idea. I've only ever heard it. I haven't actually looked into what it is, so I don't know. But look at that. We catch a Pokemon on the very first try, and it is Finflip. Okay, so the Pokemon that our little Finflip pale thing is based off of, we actually get to run into one. Uh, I also kill it in one hit, so I guess we don't get to find out what kind of type it is, so maybe I should actually not use Favira, because she kind of kills everything in one hit, or maybe I should use a weaker attack. Oh gosh, it's, it's this thing. I don't want to catch Weezy. I'm not about that good kush. I don't want to get that today. I don't know what I was saying, but uh, our dude is holding his rod up. I'm not sure what was up with that. Don't, don't do that. If you're trying to fish at home, uh, you actually want to cast your rod into the ocean. You don't want to... Uh, Keep it held up for whatever reason. I don't know why he did that. Are you serious, dude? We're just having the most terrible luck with finding fish Pokemon. Whatever. You know, the fishing contest would probably be a better way to catch fish Pokemon, so... I don't know. Oh, there's a Pokemon. Will it be a new one, though? Probably not. And it's Finflip. We got another chance. So, I guess from the three Pokemon that we... I give up. See you guys next time. Just kidding, here's the fishing contest. Let's try our hand at this, because I suck at catching Finflip, I guess. Here, you can enter and you will receive 30 fishing balls. Then once inside, you can find a spot to go fishing. Once you hook a Pokemon, you can try to catch it. The catch is that you're only allowed one Pokemon with you battle with... Also, you can only have one Pokemon. What the heck is she talking about? Oh, it's, it's like the bug catching contest in the other game. Okay, so you can catch as many Pokemon as you want, I guess, but... 
once you pick, like, you have to pick the biggest one, I guess. By the way, for battling me, I have a little gift for you. You have no room to store this egg. Make room for it. Are you serious? No, I want the egg. What is the egg? The mysterious egg. What could it be? We've got to find out. Plot it, plot. You're finally going in the box, dude. I'm sorry. It took long enough, but you got to go in there. Thank you for the egg. I don't know what it is, but... I guess we'll find out next time, and we'll also take on the fishing contest. So, see you guys then. Also, uh, vote for what water Pokemon you want me to use. And also, if there's a water Pokemon in this egg that I don't know about, and maybe you want me to use that, then uh, let me know too. I don't know anything about anything. See you guys next time.